5 if a continuous random variable x has a normal distribution with a mean of 15 and a variance and this one find the value of a standard deviation so we see here p x is smaller than 16.2 is equal to 0 0.7654 so we know that normal distribution, we have to find z. So we know that z is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation. So what we have is we have mean which is equal to 15 and then and a variance. Okay, so what we need to find here is our variance so that we can find our z. But here from this probability, we can find it from our table. Okay, but before that, we know that our table maximum is 0 0.5 why because z is supposed to be larger than 0 so just draw it here so we have here we know that this one is 0 right this area is 0 0.5 this area is 0 0.5 so we know that this one the symbol is smaller when it is smaller but then when larger than 0 0.5, you see 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it means it's occupied to uh, right and left. So here, smaller than, so smaller and occupied to space, it must be here. Because this one is 0 0.5 and this one is another access right. So this one is supposed to be your Z. Where you see here, this one occupied 0 0.7654. Okay, so to use table, we must find what is this area. So we know that everything is 1. So here, 1 minus probability of Z is larger. Sorry, this one is supposed to be, which just put it K. It's larger than K is equal to probability of this one. Exact. So to probability z is smaller than k. So here probability z is larger than k is equal to so we change place 1 minus probability z is smaller than k where this one is 1 minus z is smaller than k is 0 0.7654 so here we are going to get 0 0.2346 so this one I'm gonna substitute the value later on so 0 0.2346 so 0 0.2346 so we can see it's going down to 0 0.2346. So we see 2358, 2327. So this one is the nearest and a bit larger than this one, right? Because we want to minus letter on. This one is for decimal point. So we see here, this one is 0 0.2358 minus 0 0.2346. So here we get 0 0.0012. Okay. So here, just in the box, so we have to minus 1, 2 because this one is 4 decimal point. So the one with 12 is this one, you see? Where you see this one is 4. So the value here, so if you go this one, you get it is at 0 0.7. And then here it is 2. And then you see here this one is 4. So 0 0.724. So this one, 0 0.724. Now we can substitute inside our formula. So here our z is this one, 0 0.724 is equal to our x is 16.2 minus our mean is 15 divided by standard deviation so our standard deviation is equal to so here we change place 16.2 minus 15 is 1.2 divided by 0 0.724 so here we get 
1.657 Okay, so this one is our standard deviation Okay, doesn't give the So it wanted to find the standard deviation So it is 1.657